Hello and welcome to this Samsung how-to video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you how to upgrade your Galaxy device to the very latest version of the Android operating system, Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. Upgrading to the latest version means you can benefit from all the new developments that both Samsung and other programmers are making, and it ensures that your security is as strong as possible to prevent viruses. To get this update, you'll need an internet connection on a computer with the latest version of Samsung's KISS software, the USB cable that came with your Galaxy device, and of course your Galaxy device. Fully charged is best. Providing you already have the KISS software, the whole process shouldn't take too long. If you don't already have KISS, then go to samsung.com and then the support section, where you'll be able to download the very latest version. It's well worth having, because as well as being the best way of accessing the latest firmware, KISS also enables you to transfer media from your computer to your device and to manage all the media that's on there. Once you've downloaded it, follow the on-screen instructions to install. Then reboot your computer and start up KISS. We recommend a restart after updating KISS also. Now you're ready to update to Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. Connect your Galaxy to your computer using the USB cable. In the top menu of the phone screen, the phrase MTP initialization will appear and then MTP connected. This means you've connected it properly. On some firmware versions, the phone screen may show an icon in the center of the screen saying connecting and then connected. Again, this is normal. On the KISS screen on your computer, you'll now see the connecting icon on the top left of the screen and the device name will appear once connected. If a software upgrade is available for your device, it'll appear as a pop-up. However, at this stage, we recommend backing up your device. KISS offers a great backup and restore option that means should anything go wrong, you'll be able to replace any files that you may have lost. Click Cancel on the firmware pop-up to take you back to the basic information screen. Then click the Backup and Restore option from the menu. Select what you would like to back up from your device in the menu, then just wait for it to complete. Now go back to the basic information screen and click the Firmware Upgrade button to resume the process. Then follow the on-screen instructions to start. The first few steps on your computer will set up the download of the firmware. And once you've started, it's vital that you don't disconnect your device at any time while downloading. The download time will vary according to your internet connection speed. You may receive a message while downloading the firmware that your device is disconnected. This is nothing to worry about. KISS will put your phone in the correct mode to download the firmware onto your device once it's ready. Once the firmware has downloaded to your computer, the screen on your device will change to the Android icon and say downloading. This is normal. Again, it's very important that you do not disconnect your device whilst the process is ongoing. If you're running an earlier version of Gingerbread Android 2.3, you will need to do a series of incremental updates at this stage in order to reach Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. Just repeat this process until you're up to date. KISS will show Upgrade Complete once you've finished, but completion on your device will still take a few moments longer. Once completed, your device will reboot and you'll see some text scroll on the screen. It's nothing to worry about. This may take a few moments. After it completes, the device will show you your new Ice Cream Sandwich home screen. The upgrade process resets your home screen, so you'll need to replace any widgets or shortcuts that you like to have there. Finally, you might find that some of your apps are not compatible with the new upgrade, though this should be quite rare. If you're not sure of compatibility, check out Google Play for any updates and limitations. Developers will be working hard to update their apps, but some may not be available just yet. <laughs> 